Welcome back, friends. In this episode, Davis almost breaks the dust collector. <laughs> Jenny makes 10 sales calls. And we have a big announcement. Stay tuned. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. So I've got my coffee and I've had some breakfast and basically this is the time where I just try to get myself like super excited and enthusiastic. If you read any sales books, the number one tip they give you is to just be excited and enthusiastic and let that come through in your personality over the phone or in person or whatever that might be. So sometimes I do jumping jacks, sometimes I drink a second cup of coffee, sometimes I, I don't know, play with Bruce, whatever it takes for me to get excited, upbeat, and like really looking forward to what I'm about to do. This morning I am going to do 10 calls. I've got 10 calls that I'm gonna smush all into this morning. So to give you a little bit of context, all of these people I'm about to call, I have already sent a free board a while ago. Basically, I need to get back in touch with them and say, hey, um, are you interested? How'd you like the board? Let's get you set up. Let's start your order, that kind of stuff. Hey, Amy, this is Jenny. Hey, Caroline, this is Jenny. Uh, yes, what day will you be back in town? All right, so not gonna lie, got a lot of voicemails on that round of calls, which happens sometimes. And I used to struggle like, should I leave a voicemail? Should I not? Should I just call back again? No matter what, leave a voicemail. Cause then they at least know that it's not a spam call. They know it's you um, and they're more apt to call you back if you do. And I try not to let these days discourage me too much because that's just life. I'll just call again. I'll just keep calling and they'll pick up and I can have the conversation with them that I wanted to have today. So now I'll just keep the business phone on me, uh, make sure the, the volume's turned up to loud so I can hear it if anybody calls me back. But otherwise, I'm gonna make an Instagram post. chips out of the flaps in the HEPA filter. Man, I gotta pay attention. I do not want to do that again. It's really hard to do this all by yourself because um, the planer has two speeds. It's got a fast speed and a slow speed. So I kicked it onto fast speed. And at the end, I, like boards were almost falling off the outfeed table because it was just going way too fast for me to keep up. I really need a second person to handle and help me on the outfeed side. But just gotta do what we can with what we got right now. I got all of these 40 boards planed up. So I think the next step is I need to lay them. I need to go through them all, see if any of them need epoxy on one side and get that epoxy going. That'll take the rest of today to cure. And then I think tomorrow I can sand all that away and we can start chamfering and getting them ready to brand. So we are gonna do our very best to try to post every single weekday until we hit 100K on YouTube. Big goal. 
is the first time we've ever cared about our YouTube numbers or the metrics. But now that we're looking at hiring employees and editors and stuff like that, we have got to be responsible for the money coming in. And part of that is we got to grow the YouTube channel big enough to make enough revenue to be reliable to give them a paycheck. Yeah. Stick around to the end of the video. We're gonna share with you how you can help us grow the channel. So we need to grow the size of our YouTube channel a little bit and we need to make sure that there's enough revenue coming in, which is why you've seen more videos. Mm -hmm. And we've enjoyed it too. It's been a lot of yeah. fun. I hope you've enjoyed the extra videos. It's been a good time bringing you kind of more in depth into our lives and, and what we do on a daily basis. We teased this a few months ago with a little video, but yes. uh, anyway, this is that now. So welcome. it's all coming full circle. Yes, <laughs> full pickle. <laughs> so part of our big push is these new shirts. We took an idea from you guys. So in the intro to our videos, we always say, you know, Jenny's like an empire. And I'm like, yes, Jenny, big goals. Well, it sounds like I'm saying pickles. <laughs> yes, Jenny, big goals. Apparently that's what we got. Like we, literally the day we dropped the intro, we got like 20 comments. Like, did you say pickles or big goals? And we're like, big goals. Oh my gosh. I didn't hear it before, but I hear it now. Big goals. So it why not like have both with this beautiful <laughs> cotton, super soft t-shirt? <laughs> yes, exactly. We got it on some other things too, right? Yeah, we got it. Basically, I wanted to put it on the things that you look at most to remind you about your big goals. So we put it on a shirt, right? You look at yourself every day in the mirror when you get dressed. We also put it on a coffee mug because you use that every single morning. And, and we put it on a phone case because what do we look at more than our cell phones? So to get the shirt or the phone case or the coffee mug, just go to the first link in the description. It'll be down there. And uh, yeah, stick. if you don't want to buy a t-shirt or something, that's fine. All right, so here's the secrets to share our channel with your friends without looking weird or awkward. So at the end of this video, you're gonna see two thumbnails. You're gonna see one of us flying through hurricanes. It's talking all about our jobs as hurricane hunters. You can just send that video to a friend on a text message or an email and just say, oh my gosh, look at this young crazy couple that flies through hurricanes. Aren't they nuts? And you can send it that way. But if your friends are into woodworking, you can go ahead and send them the other video, which is gonna be us building 25 cutting boards in two days or something crazy. Yeah, built a lot of cutting boards. Welcome back friends. Today, we're gonna try to make as many cutting boards as we possibly can. Let's go. That's the best way that you can share our videos with your friends and family and just show them both sides of us, the, the fun daredevil side and the business oriented side, which I would argue running a business is also a daredevil yes, activity. I would hundred percent. I would agree. So pick your, uh, pick your daredevil activity and uh, share it with your friends. So we'd really appreciate it. We're yes. trying to make the push to hundred K before Thanksgiving. So yeah. Big goals. Big goals. Pickles. Pickles, Davis. Pickles. Ask me how I do it. I just stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Ask me how I do it. 